and there we go. One lake barrel, one garbage can, two pieces of all thread, eight nuts, and eight washers turned into a feeder. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to Our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike and today we're gonna do a little bit of a project and some other stuff thrown in because I've got errands to run and a load of hay showing up here in about an hour. So we are gonna be kinda on the move today. But what I wanted to do was show you a project uh, that we're gonna work on and finish up that uh, is all about feeding animals. And I think this is gonna be something we're gonna do over the winter, we might have three or four videos that have everything to do with how we feed the animals. We've had lots of videos about water and how we keep water open and dealing with ice and all that kind of stuff. And we'll probably hit some of that this winter too. But what I wanna do is talk about feed um, and you know the, uh, the availability of feed, the cost of feed and how we feed is a, is a big and important step uh, to managing a ranch and making sure that you're managing it efficiently and uh, you know, hopefully uh, with some profit built in there, which is pretty rare. But uh, we are gonna try to do it, uh, you know, with the most uh, cost-effective way that we can. So today we're actually gonna be building a new feeder for the chickens, the biggest waste of money on the ranch. Now, when I say that chickens are a waste of money, that's not a chicken, by the way, that's a peacock, but he's hanging out with us. Uh, they don't pay for themselves, at least not on our ranch. Um, basically, you know, you have to feed them, you have to house them, you have to spend time cleaning the chicken house, you've got a water bill, you've got everything associated with having chickens, and we sell the eggs in the uh, farm store for whatever we sell them for three four dollars a dozen and yeah it doesn't they don't pay for themselves there's no return on investment monetarily for the chickens but we do have a lot of customers that come out that buy eggs and when they're buying eggs they might buy some hamburger or a steak or maybe some vegetables or some honey or uh, baked goods or whatever it may be and that's where the chickens start to pay for themselves the problem is I don't want to spend a whole lot of time dealing with chickens and feeding them is a huge time suck that has to be done every single day. So if we can figure out a way to do it more efficiently, I'm all for it. And that's why I built this. This is a 400 pound chicken feeder. It's basically built on the same premise as this chicken feeder, which you can buy for 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, food goes in the top spills out down here on the bottom, chickens come and eat. So what we're gonna do is basically just build a bigger version of this. This one holds maybe 20 pounds. We're gonna build one that holds 400 pounds. The greatest thing about this is that it's gonna cost us very little money. Um, we're gonna use materials that we already have here on the ranch. Um, I do have to run to town because I don't have any all thread but I will get you a total on how much this thing cost by the end. So we'll be back here building in just, uh, in just a little while. Of course, the hay is probably gonna throw me off too, but um, we're gonna be building that today. While we're heading to town, I do have to stop by the post office and drop off orders. The holiday is coming up pretty quick. I wanted to thank everybody for their orders on our website, rwymanlife.com. You can get beef jerky and mugs and hats and shirts and all that kind of good stuff. And, and all of these are going out uh, just over the weekend. We took orders for these. We try to get to the post office well, once every maybe three or four days and dropping off packages and of course picking up our mail as well. And if you'd like to send Aaron or anybody else on the Our Wyoming Life team a Christmas card or anything like that, you can do that at Our Wyoming Life PO Box 667, Gillette, Wyoming 82717. I'll put it right here. All right, we're heading to the post office, then we're going to head to Home Depot, grab ourselves a little bit of all thread, some nuts and some bolts uh, to be able to put this thing together. So sit back, enjoy the ride.
rolling into Gillette, Wyoming, the closest little town to the ranch, uh, about uh, 10, 15 minutes away. So not too far, not too close, but not too far either. Uh, we're going to stop by the post office really quick and drop off these boxes, get them going out to, uh, well, folks all over the world who have ordered from our website. I've uh, got our beef jerky on the way to them. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sure I've got some of your guys' boxes back here, so I doubt they'll make it uh, before the holiday, before Thanksgiving, but hopefully uh, uh, pretty quick after you can get a hold of them. And like I said, we ship about three times a week, uh, and we have to come to town and do this. The other big thing is that we're getting ready to start shipping beef. If you are uh, at all looking forward to buying beef from us, beef and pork actually, uh, we are getting ready. Our first shipments will be going out on Monday of next week. Uh, we're doing a soft opening and that's going out to our Patreon supporters. They're going to be getting a password where they can go to the website and order beef and pork and kind of help us out and shaking out any uh, any bugs or anything that we have going on in our process. So we're going to be running just with the Patreon folks for a week. Then we'll roll it out to our newsletter subscribers. You can sign up for the newsletter at uh, ourwyomonglife.com. And then eventually it'll roll out to the rest of the channel once we've got all the bugs worked out of it. So if you'd like to get on the ground floor of the beef shipping, which starts next week, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash rwyomonglife and uh, get signed up there. It's like one buck a month and you can uh, get in on the ground floor of the shipping of the beef. So we're almost to the post office. Uh, get all this stuff unloaded and uh, sent away. And then we're going to run by Home Depot and grab what we need there. And then it'll be uh, heading straight back home. I did get a hold of a, our truck driver that's bringing our hay. His name is Ray. Um, he is going to uh, pump the brakes a little bit, stop and grab a cup of coffee. So it gives us a little bit more time to, to try to get this stuff done in town at least before we have to go and unload hay. So um, just a little bit more stuff to do and then we'll be back and we'll be building our chicken feeder. ran and now we can run home it's a beautiful day Let me show you what I got. So my original plan was to use one of my garbage cans, just an old garbage can that I was using, but then I realized I don't know if I have lids. So I did go ahead and buy a new garbage can to do this, um, but you know, if you have a garbage can with a lid, you don't even need to buy the garbage can. There's our garbage can. That's going to hold all of our food. 
about uh, 200 pounds. Did I say 400 pounds earlier? I didn't mean that. 200 pounds. Four bags of 50 pound bags of food. 200 pounds of food. Why did I say 400 pounds? Anyway, all right, um, so this is our all thread. We're gonna be using this. So really with the garbage bag and the all thread, I've got maybe 50 bucks. I think these were like eight or nine bucks a piece. Uh, the garbage can was a little expensive. I think it was like 30 bucks. So a little pricey for the garbage can. But so we're under 50 bucks and we can start putting it together. All right, before we get uh, to building this thing, we've got to go and unload some hay. Our truck just showed up down in the hay yard. So I'm gonna run down there and unload that really quick. And then we'll get back and we'll build our chicken feeder. This is how most of my days go. I have a project in mind. It takes me quite a while to get to it. Thanks for bearing with me guys. And uh, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. apologize really quick I, I honestly thought this would be more of a straightforward here's how to build a chicken feeder video instead it turns into everything else again just the way things work around here on the ranch get used to it um, and uh, I really don't feel like editing around my entire life so what you see is what you get what we see here is this is actually a chicken feeder just like we built that we're gonna build today I built this one a few years ago let's take a look at it and uh, see what we can change uh, to, this, to the new design and how this one works. Well, as you can see, we've got a, uh, what is this? A 39, 32 gallon um, Rubbermaid garbage can. And on the base, this is actually made out of an old wash tub. Um, I actually found one just like it at Home Depot today, but decided that there might be a better way for us to do this. And that's where this lick barrel is gonna come in handy. We're gonna recycle this lick barrel, which is basically a section of a 55 gallon drum. Now you can use pretty much anything you want for the base as long as it's a little bit bigger than the garbage can, okay? So all the all thread runs through the base and through the garbage can and holds everything together. And then you fill this up with food, 200 pounds of food, not 400, 200. I still don't know where I got 400. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start building this thing and uh, see how it works. And we're gonna start out with the base. So the other one we had uh, that we built prior was four inches in the base. I think that works pretty good. So we are gonna just mark this at four inches. That gives us a deep enough well for the feed to sit in. Okay, once we've got that, we can come in with this. And we're gonna use this angle grinder with a cutoff blade to slice this portion off of the lick barrel. got a ring. That's not very pretty. I'm going to go through and clean it up a little bit. And it's got a pretty sharp edge on it. I'm going to deburr that actually too. So let me just run through this really quick and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, next thing is to start putting this whole thing together. All right, so the all thread is going to go through the base. So we can actually go ahead and get those holes drilled to start with. The nice thing about this one is we got some reference points to work with, so that's pretty cool. Now that it's time to actually drill these in, um, we're basically gonna make a crisscross with these um, pieces of all thread. So one has to be a little bit higher, one has to be a little bit lower.
Okay, for the next step, I don't have a drill bit big enough to, to drill a hole in this, this pan for the all thread. So I'm actually going to be using a plasma cutter just to cut a quick hole so we can get all this set together. cut our plasma cutter now it's time to actually fit the can up here now this is gonna be pretty cool and you know honestly it's so simple that I, I kick myself for not thinking of this a whole long time ago uh, but and I think I'm gonna actually use this for more animals I'm gonna make more of these um, like I said we've got a lot of feed stuff coming up that we're gonna be talking about so now I gotta punch a hole in this for everything to go together pretty simple so for this portion, I'm actually going to be using this, uh, this spiral bit. Um, it's got a starter screw on it. It's actually a wood bit, but it'll work pretty good in this plastic. And we're going to just go down through the top. And it's dang near long enough to be able to get us pretty close so we can make sure we have a straight line. So that one is actually for our lower piece of all thread. It's going to wrap right on through here. If we can get everything to line up perfectly. Yeah. But before I get too crazy, um, we have to drill the other hole and we're actually going to cut out a portion of the bottom of the uh, of the garbage can so that you know obviously feed falls through and into the tray. So punch a quick hole. Right there. We got more fun stuff to do because we are going to leave a strip here along the bottom where this lower piece of all thread is going to go through. We're actually going to cut out a piece on each side. And that's where all everything's going to fall through. About the easiest way that I've found to do this is actually just with a uh, jigsaw. I do have to get a hole to start, so I'm just going to punch a hole here, which will give us where somewhere to start. And that's what we end up with. So anybody who's ever worked with all thread before will tell you that the biggest pain with all thread is running nuts up and down it. Um, I'm gonna show you what the other one looks like so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing in here. So this is our one that we built before and if you look down in there, you can see that there's a nut and a washer on the inside of all four sides of these. And that's what keeps this thing in place. And then there's a nut and a washer on the outside that holds it all together. So that's pretty much what I've got to do in here. And I have to put each nut and washer on as I'm moving the all thread through. So I have to move this down to the floor. The first one I can put through pretty easy. It's just going to be the top one. It just runs right through. Okay, centered about. So that's what it looks like from the inside. It's centered on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put one on, on this side. And 
and just finger tighten it for now. Okay, change of plans here because this is a giant pain in the butt. I'm going to get rid of that center bar altogether. Okay, because this is a different type of garbage can than that one, like I said, different types of garbage cans, different types of problems, I'm actually going to remove the entire bottom. So this cross piece that's right here, I'm going to get rid of it. We're going to take it out and hopefully everything can still stay together without it. Oh, okay, so it's the best way to take that out. Now we completely remove the bottom. I don't think we need it anyway. Now we can go through with our last piece all thread. And there we go. One lick barrel, one garbage can, it's two pieces of all thread, eight nuts and eight washers turned into a feeder. And now we can go fill it up. We're gonna head over and grab a few buckets of chicken food, uh, which we're actually getting in bulk now from Dakota Mills over in Bellefouche, South Dakota. In fact, I need to call them and probably get some more food order. Um, we're gonna fill up, uh, you know, four buckets or so of feed and take it over and start filling these up. For us, the ability to get bulk feed has really been a game changer. Being able to feed in bulk, that's a game changer too. I don't know about you, but time that I don't have to mess around with feeding chickens or cats or whatever else that you can use this method of feeding for is great. It's a free choice feeder. They're able to come and eat when they want. I'm not holding back food. I'm not rationing food to them. So I think it's a win-win. And it saves time. It might have even saved a little money. Of course, now it looks like the cows want some, or at least the calves. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I know it got away from me. Um, hay arriving. The gator came back. That actually happened. I didn't get it on film, but here, check this out. The gator's back from some warranty work over at CMB Operations in Sheridan. They even washed it for me. Very nice of them. So guys, I'm going to cut you loose. Uh, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you on Sunday for our weekly vlog. And if you don't mind, keep an eye out for our Black Friday sale. It's happening on our website starting on Black Friday. I'm guessing that's kind of Aaron's department, but I'm going to say it's starting on Black Friday. So thanks guys. And thanks for hanging out with us. I hope that this is something that you can do, or if you can't, maybe somebody else that you know can actually make this work for them. Um, it's, a, it's a relatively simple thing to make a bulk feeder like that, but the time that it saves is well worth a little bit of extra effort. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming life.